So this incident happened in August 2014, back when I was still in my final year. I always do my work solo at the old library, specifically on the second floor. Because second floor was known for its quiet surrounding, so it's quite convenient for me to focus on my work without distraction. On that day, I was still doing my work up till night. It was around 6pm. There were only two people, me and the girl beside me at the next table. We were just doing our own work. And it was around 6.30pm when the girl beside me started to leave. So that makes me the only one on that floor. Although, I wasn't so sure if there's still student doing work anyway on that floor. As far as I knew, there wasn't. I was typing my keyboard doing my work when one person came and passed by. I didn't even realize that until I somehow heard someone sitting at the table behind. But I paid no mind and pulled out my earpiece and immersed myself in listening to music to focus. But I did keep the volume low just in case. So this was when things got weird. The person behind me started to sing. It wasn't your typical song that you should be singing around this time. It felt like an old classic song where the person was humming from time to time as well. And that's when I knew it was a girl. I got distracted. I stopped typing and shifted my focus towards the girl behind me. I got curious and wanted to look back until the girl behind me started to talk in a very slow and low tone voice. Sudah siap kerajamu? I was like, shit, what the hell? And she continued to sing. I felt creeped out with her voice and what she said just now. And that's when things got weirder and weirder. I smelled a very flowery scent from behind. And I knew straight away that it was time for me to go. I stood up and packed my things quickly and walked faster towards the elevator. I started to smash the button repeatedly as I tried my best not to look on the right side. And suddenly, there was a voice. I was a dumb girl and looked towards where the voice was coming from. At the room entrance, there was a woman standing. Wearing a red baju kurung, her hair was curling long down to her chest. She was smiling. Her skin was pale. Her red eyes was looking directly towards me. That time, I was frozen in fear, staring at that thing. I couldn't even move one bit. When that thing started to walk in a very small movement, that's when I sprinted towards the stairs. I ran down as fast as I could until I reached the ground floor. And that's when I felt instant relief because there were still few students around. But I was still scared. I went to the table where a group of two students were. I asked them if I can sit with them. They just agreed. So after a while, I asked if they were willing to accompany me to my car later. They didn't question me and just said yes. And they offered me if I want to go now, as if they understood what happened. I didn't utter any words on the way home. I didn't tell my family what happened that day until one month later, and I never set foot in that library anymore. It still haunts me up to this day because it was actually my first time encountering that thing. I still remembered I played Ayat Kursi in my room for almost one month after the incident. I am not a Muslim, but I do know very well that it is kind of like a protection from evil being, and I did feel calm and protected. So that was my story that I wasn't able to open up for almost 10 years. I couldn't tell people because I felt like it was heavy for me. So to all the listeners out there, whether you believe me or not, that is entirely up to you. But on that day, the way I view around me changed. And since then, 
I always keep it in my mind that they do exist among us.